Hi everyone, it's Beck from BritSense. Today we're going to talk about the word would and a few basic functions. Are you ready? Let's get started. In grammar language, would is an auxiliary modal verb, but it's probably easier to remember situations when we use it. Number one, questions. We use would when we want to ask someone a polite question. You might hear this in hotels or restaurants, or when making invitations. Let's look at some examples. Would you like something to drink? Would you like to come to my party? Number two, polite requests. When we want something, we can say I want, but this isn't very polite. Instead, we generally use I'd like or I would like to talk about what we want. You can use I'd like with a noun or a verb. Let's look at some examples. In a restaurant, you might hear, I'd like a large salad, please. Or when making a booking at a hotel, you might say, I'd like a room for three nights, please. We can use I'd like for all kinds of polite requests in hotels, in restaurants, etc. Both on the telephone and also face to face. When talking about future plans and wishes, we can also use I'd like, even if it's not possible for those things to happen. For example, after I finish my studies, I'd like to travel the world. I'd like to buy a bigger house, but I don't have enough money. Let's look now at conditional sentences. When we use the second conditional, we talk about something hypothetical or unreal. We use a modal verb such as would, might, could, may, etc. Let's look at some examples. If I had enough money, I would start my own business. We don't know if the person will have enough money, but they're talking about what they would do if they did have enough money. Remember, the if part of the sentence takes simple past and the result part takes a modal verb such as might, may, would, etc. plus base verb. In the same way, we can ask questions using second conditionals. Like, what would you do if you won a lot of money? We don't know if the person will win a lot of money, but we're just speculating about what they would do. Number five, let's talk about preferences. We can use would to talk about preferences. In this case, we need to say, I would rather. We can use this when we have a choice. Let's look at some examples. Would you like to stay in or go out tonight? Oh, I'd rather stay in, I'm really tired. Would you like Indian food or a pizza tonight? Ooh, I'd rather have a pizza. I had Indian food last week. There are some more advanced uses of the word would that we'll cover in the next video. However, um, that's all from me now. I hope you feel confident with the five uses that we covered today. Bye for now.